I don't know why I did that. Blah. That up. I had. Oh, I'm lost. I got makeup all over my leg. I... <laughs> my star is gonna get so big. Hello. Don't know what that is. There's like a lady staring at me while I film, so I'm just like, I'm not gonna look her in the eyes. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be doing a get ready with me for an audition. Today I have an audition and I'm also filming just a regular self tape for my agent that we can use for submissions, which is super exciting. Everything obviously due to COVID is definitely like self tape style now. So I'm going to Brisbane to film with a friend to put down a self tape. So get ready with me while I turn this into something that people want to hire. I woke up with like a sty. You probably can't see it. It's really little, but oh uh, no, you can't actually see it. I'm supposed to do like full like makeup and stuff. So that'll be interesting. I feel like it's going to like blow up in the audition. I'm supposed to go to the gym this morning. That didn't happen. So I get to wash my hair, do some makeup, pick an outfit and make myself look pretty. The first one is just like a scene from a TV show and she's kind of like a bit more glam. I don't know how to do glam, so that's gonna be interesting. <laughs> that's what we're gonna do, so let me go have a shower. All right, so I just washed my hair, as you can see. <laughs> I look like a boy. And I just put on some eye cream and moisturizer. I washed off all my tan. Don't know why I'm showing you that. I actually look very tanned already, and it hasn't even set, so could be interesting. Last time I tanned, it literally didn't do anything. Like, it just washed all off and then didn't reset after eight hours, so. Yeah, this one's on a different level. I'm just gonna blow dry my hair. I don't really do anything special. To be honest, I don't even blow dry it. I like blow dry it like in two seconds and then I blow dry the fringe and then the fringe is dry and then the rest of my hair is wet and it's really an ugly look. So yeah, that's my blow drying technique. You're welcome. I mean, I wasn't joking when I say I literally just blow dry my fringe and the rest of my hair is still wet. I will probably blow dry my hair better later because I actually want to straighten it this time. I never really do anything for my hair for auditions and I kind of need to look a bit more like it's Hollywood you know I just gotta put some more effort into like my hair I, I kid you not I never straightened my hair I, I don't think I've used my straightener in over a year I actually bought a curler from Kmart that was $16 yeah I've never used it you're welcome for that insight now I'm going to set up my little makeup station and do my makeup let's go Okay, now it is time for makeup. This is literally a horrible setup. Like, I'm not even joking. The light in my room is terrible. The light in my bathroom is terrible. So I literally have put, like, a ring light that is broken in front of my mirror. As you can see, to um, try and, you know, get my makeup ready. So let's go. My hair is actually drying quite quickly, which I'm quite happy about. So I was actually on set the other day, and so my makeup is kind of all over the place because I had to uh, take some with me for the type of production I was working on. Just because of the COVID safety, they try to like get you to do just literally your foundation and then they do all the rest, which is weird because then they literally fix up your foundation. Anyway, yeah, that's the tea I'm COVID. <laughs> so I've even like had to take my out my earrings because you want to jewelry. They like painted my fingernails, but it's all chipped because day job, bakery, washing dishes. <laughs> So yeah, now I'm just gonna do my makeup. Pretty simple. I kind of do my makeup the same for every audition. Like sometimes I'll glam it up a bit more if I know they're a bit more glammy or like I'll turn it down if, for example, they're like a cop or something like that. Like I just kind of do the bare minimum, but I'm actually going for two. And uh, so I don't really know what to do. Like I think I will do some eyeliner, just like simple eyeliner, simple eyeshadow, kind of just make myself look pretty. Yep. So let's go. Um, I don't really prime my skin or anything. I mean, it's probably bad, but what can you do? I use, I love how I'm talking like I'm a makeup expert and literally probably no one cares, but I use the NARS Sheer Glow Foundation in the shade Santa Fe. I really love it. And then my friend who's a model and she like never wears makeup. She's like the most, she's stunning. She recommended this to me because it's not too heavy, but you can also build it. And I think it's just great. I'm like obsessed. Auditions can be quite hard. Like when you, when you think about it too much, because obviously like everyone wants it you know, everyone wants the audition. Um, I'm in a very competitive age group at the moment, so I'm competing with like actors that have been going for a long time. I've done a few feature films and stuff like that, which is super grateful. Like I'm, I love those. I'm so happy I did that. I'm competing with people that have come off Neighbours and stuff like that, which if you're not in Australia, Neighbours and like Home Away is like, is like our television show. And once you're on there, it's like a pretty much like a gateway to a career kind of thing. For my makeup, I literally just put like dots I literally do two pumps all the time and for some reason I have heaps left over at the moment so don't really know what happened there. But I kind of just put dots all over my face 
I usually sit a lot closer to the mirror, but everything's in the way, so this could be interesting. And then I just, you know, I'm sure everyone knows how to do foundation, blend it in. I should probably talk about like how I prep for things. I've done heaps of training as an actor, like you really have to train. It's like going to the gym is what like every actor teacher like says. And you know, you can't like do a sports competition without having trained all the time. So it's kind of the same thing. I just train twice weekly. Oh, I just forgot how to style my eye and I've literally just like spread it everywhere. So I hope it doesn't, I hope it's not contagious, but yeah, I kind of just train twice weekly. I love it. Like I've tried to do other things in my life. Like I went to uni for a bit and I was just, <laughs> to be honest, really, Impressed. Like it's a frustrating career in my opinion because for me if you go to uni and you study accounting There's like a clear path and like a clear way to do your job and like to you know what I mean? Like when you're accounting, you're accounting, you know you're gonna get a job at the end of the day But like acting you just you never know you never know when that job's gonna be you might get one job And then you're like awesome I made it then you get another job for like a year It's very stressful, but that's why they say you have to be in it to love it. Otherwise you would just probably be depressed and hate your life. Oh my God, I just feel so much better with just having like a single layer foundation, literally. Like the rest of the layer is still on my hand and I don't know where I'm gonna put that. Actually, <laughs> that's a lie, I know where I'm gonna put it. Um, I get really bad under eyes and I used concealer, but I just didn't like it. Maybe because I didn't have one that much on my face. So I just put under my eyes. I'm sure literally every girl does. I don't know how to conceal. <gasps> my star is gonna get so big. <laughs> So yeah, I just put the leftover foundation like in the corner of my eye. I'm trying to be careful with this one. Oh yeah, what was I saying? How do I prep for my scene? So I've studied with heaps of different people and everyone kind of has their own method to prepping. I actually find if I over prep too much, like I kind of have a limit. I don't know, the only way I can explain it is like when you used to be at school and you would like study for exams and if you overstudy, like your brain's just fried and it's just a really like, I don't know, you feel really, I would feel claustrophobic kind of. So I'm the same, if I over prep, with acting like it kind of takes the natural ability for me out of it I got makeup all over my leg most of the roles that I'm going for right now are more like naturalistic roles like everyday roles so I prep there's a teacher that I work with that I absolutely love he doesn't really work with like what's your objective and stuff like that he's more he analyzes the whole script he'll find like the keywords and like slides and stuff and like what is the character actually saying because if you actually know what the two characters are saying to each other like what are they what is their point behind each sentence you kind of don't need to find the objective because you've kind of worked it out i don't know how to explain it it's all a more personal approach and i really liked that Anyway, I've literally just talked my head off for 10 minutes. So once I've patted in the foundation, I then grab my setting powder, Laura Mercier. I think every girl has this. If you don't, just get it. <laughs> I don't think this is the right brush, but I tap and I just put it under my eye to try not get <laughs> creases. Oh, I probably shouldn't have to swear. I crease really easily because I, I don't know, <laughs> something. I also get really bad smile lines. Like, see how deep my smile is? So I just powder there as well. Again, don't know what I'm doing, but that's fine. I'm like, <laughs> they literally all puffed up into my face. Then I do my eyebrows. My eyebrows are interesting. Ooh, hello. Don't know what that is. I don't do a thick layer of makeup, so you can always see like my pimples, but who cares. I'm gonna have to go do this in a closer mural because I'm not that talented, so I'll be back. Alrighty, I'm back. Probably can't tell I did anything, but I did it. Moving on to the next thing. I then like to do eyeshadow. I mean, I don't actually know how to do eyeshadow, but I like to do eyeshadow. So I take a fluffy brush. Don't know what it is. I also have these eyeshadow palettes that I stole from my friend. Again, don't ask me what they are. But I like to take the dark one, put it in the, like the hood of my eyes. Again, this is not a makeup tutorial. Please do not follow my advice. My mum came over to drop over food, so I was talking to her for like an hour. So now I'm running late. I had, oh, I've lost. Just did my eyeshadow quickly. I literally did like nothing. I kind of just, yeah, I did nothing. I added some browns or something, trying to make it look a bit better. I have this really nice purple shade. This is my other palette, but like the gold smash and now it's all glittery and it never used to be glittery eyeshadow. Love me some shimmer. But I just do that in like, the same areas I do the thing and it just kind of adds like a bit, it adds a color, you know what I mean? I was gonna do eyeliner, but honestly, I don't know if I can be bothered. This is kind of all I do for my eyes kind of thing. I do my mascara last after my face because I spray like a setting spray and one time I did it with mascara and they all like clumped together and it was really bad. 
So yeah, I just bronzed my face. I just used the Smashbox palette that I think, again, every girl has. It's pretty simple. Don't even know if this is the right brush to use, but that's fine. I then have like blush that I like to use. It's from MAC Blush, but like a bronzer all in one. I actually got it for my 18th from a family friend, so it's like five years old and I only just started using it. Um, yeah, cool, that's done. I have my Kylie Jenner mm. highlight that again, I stole from a friend. All of it on my nose. I then have a highlighter that I actually got from Korea. It was like $8. I really like mixing these two. I feel like it gives a nice blend. I usually put highlighter in the corner of my eyes just to, you know, make them pop. Oh, I'm so far from the mirror so I can actually see and kind of do that in the corner. Just to make your eyes pop a bit more on screen. I feel like it helps. I don't know, they just shine a bit better, you know what I mean? This spray, it's from a brand called Medusa's Makeup. It's actually really cool. It's an all vegan and cruelty free brand and the setting spray was like $12, I think. And it's, it's so good. It always like fucks up my fringe. That's kind of like my makeup routine done. I've just got to do mascara. It's really hard to film on days where you're feeling a bit down. I was really, had a lot of energy before, but I'm kind of a bit flat at the moment and I still have to drive an hour and a half, but once I see my friend, it'll be helpful. But yeah, time to pick my outfit. Um, my room is literally like a mess right now. That is literally where I did like my makeup. I've packed my makeup bag. Uh, that's my teddy. Hey, um, I didn't know what to wear. I have like heaps of clothes and heaps of options, but I really stress like a lot of things you can't wear for film, like, you know, like that. And I have a lot of the same colors, but they all have like prints on the front, um, stuff like that. So I kind of just grab some like different things. Like obviously I'm playing a cop at one stage. I wanted to go like a bit stereotypical in one of the scenes. Um, so just like a leather jacket, um, just to, you know, make myself not look as girly, I guess. Um, just with like, wow, <laughs> so organized. Just like a little black polo top. Um, it's really cute, it's just like a crop top, but like it's really good for business attire as well. Um, and then I got this for so my second scene as an option. Um, or I'm gonna wear the black polo again with a little head tie, make myself look, you know, like a little bit more glamorous. Um, packed my makeup. That's a really bad example of the outfits. But this is what I'm wearing right now. So I could even do like this top as like a little option. The headband kind of vibe, like a, I don't know, Soho kind of vibe. Um, just cute little shorts. Socks. That's my outfit of the day. Pretty much just gotta pack my bags. Um, my scripts are everywhere. It's even a midlife crisis, but that is fine. Pack my bags and then I'll be on my way. So I am um, on my way. I realized I needed a, a new SD card because I mean, it's full and I'm really unorganized. So we're gonna, just gonna go to uh, JB Hi-Fi, get an SD card, and then we'll be on my way to my friends. It's an hour and a half away. So I'm kind of on time, but also kind of late. But yeah, let's go get an SD card. Woohoo! Everyone is always like, oh, like, how'd you get into acting? Blah, 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 blah. Which I mean, all fair questions. I ask that about people all the time. But like, oh, no, the question that I find really hard to answer is like, there's like a lady staring at me while I film, so I'm just like, I'm not gonna look her in the eyes. Um, anyway, the question that I always struggle with is like, what made you wanna be an actor? Because I find a lot of people have like really deep and personal answers, which is great for them. Like I admire that. Like when people have really cool stories to why they wanna do something, I find it really inspiring. But mine is just like, yeah, I watched Disney Channel as a kid and I liked it. Like I was a Sweet Life of Zack and Cody fan and that is why I now want to do acting. So shout out to Sweet Life of Zack and Cody for giving me those that I liked comedy and wanted to do that. Big shout out to them. But yeah, that's pretty much my answer is that I just watched Disney Channel and I really liked it. And anyway, I'm going to concentrate on driving right now because everyone's giving me like really weird looks because I'm recording. And I don't know what the fine is for filming and driving at the same time because if it's a thousand dollars like your phone, this girl ain't got that, so I'll catch you later. I got my SD card. I'm so shy. Like, I went in and I like obviously needed help because I was walking. I was like in the freaking laundry section, and he was like, "What are you after?" And I was like, oh, "SD card." And then he was like asking me what it was for, and I was just like, "Oh, like, just need to film things." And he's like, "What are you filming?" And I was like, "Oh, just like auditions." And then he's like, "Oh, what are the auditions for?" Like, I get so shy when people ask me about acting. I think I'm always worried. Like, usually when people talk about it, they're like, oh, so like, 
what have you been in? Like, what can I see? And it's like, oh, buddy, like, that's not really how it works. But anyway, so I got, like, my SD card and I ran out of there. He was lovely. Nothing against him. I'm just, like, super shy. But I need to get better at that and actually be confident when I speak about it all. I just feel like people don't really understand and, like, I just get shy because you... Blah, it's just a weird feeling. But anyway, I'm off to Brisbane now to go see my friend. I'm not going to film my drive because... I just don't really want to crash, to be honest. I mean, I'm starving already, and like, <gasps> it's lunchtime, and I haven't eaten, so I really like that up. But I might see if my friend wants to get some lunch after we film. I'm seeing another friend tonight. They're gonna come over and cook me some dinner, so I can't get too full, but I might grab some sushi. Love me some sushi. Okay, I just pulled up to my friend's house, and it took me so long. I always forget that she's like out of the city, so it takes me like longer than I always expect. But I feel pretty flat right now, I'm not gonna lie, that drive took it out of me. And I had time to sit with my thoughts and you know really get in my head, so that wasn't a vibe. But I jammed to some upbeat music for like the last 10 minutes, so I'm sure when I get there I'll feel wide awake. I'm not gonna film anything in there just because I want to focus on my self tape and my audition. But I might show like a little snippet of it and yeah, just gonna chill out with my friends for a little bit. And then probably get some food because it's 2 o'clock and I have not eaten. There's some Oreos in my car actually, let's have a look. Yes, I actually do have Oreos in my car. I don't know how long they've been sitting there. They're actually probably... This lighting is terrible, but I just got home from filming. It literally took me two and a half hours to get home. <sighs> just that traffic was like next level. I'm finally home. It went really well. I'm super happy with the takes. Yeah, I'm so tired. I'm so sorry. I'm so out of it. Now I'm getting dinner with a friend, so I'm gonna go do that and then have a shower and go to bed because I work like early. When I say early, I mean like 4.30 a.m. I will might show like a, just a little snippet. I'm not too sure. Can't complain. It all went well. Yep, I'm tired. But anyway, thanks for watching. If you want to see more of this, feel free to subscribe. Feel free to comment. I'll read every single comment and get back to you guys. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks.